So today we're gonna be doing a Blade Fury Amara build. You've all heard of the Blade Witch Amara build made by Amoxie. Well, I've made a better version of it, like a way better version. So let's do it. For the gear, we have a Blade Fury Masher with Kill Stack Anoint, and then we also have a, Ma a Blade Fury Fualo with the same Anoint. We want we want to have two Blade Furies, one with Masher and one Fualo, if you know. So basically, you can use both, it doesn't really matter, but I prefer the masher for mobbing, even though it cuts your damage in half, basically. Gadlin is more consistent, but I, but I still use the masher anyway. You got an angel with 150-90 for some fish stop. Guess, you know, this is my 10th melee Amara save ever. Low level sellout for proc elemental protector and getting mindfulness attacks without wasting... Uh, our action scale. Level 1 Revolter with Triple Fleet with ASC Fire because we're gonna be doing the trick with burn both ends where we ha when we have ASCs on our shield and grenade then we can stack burn both ends to full and get 3 plus 75% bonus damage. Driver with plus 2 Helping Hands and plus 3 Mindfulness with Splash Damage Radius, Splash Damage and Melee Damage a mental protective static charge with double melee roll and AoE damage. Now you can also do other good passes on this are corrosive damage, mag size, radiation damage, action skill cooldown rate, and then fish slap in every element with A3 radiation, all with triple link. We also have a low level mesmer and a low level pith, both with A3 radiation. And a crater MP5 for movement speed. So do a victory rush with double movement speed and area of effect damage for ultimate movement speed. And also a capitalist launch pad for regenerating ammo if you need to. And for the skill tree for orange tree, we're doing five points into enema for an extended dot duration. You know, this is a driver build and having a longer dot makes you know the dot stack mindfulness for longer. And then one point into steady hands, because we have two points into infusion. You don't need to have, you know, bonus um, body and mind procs. But we also have two points and one point to steady hands to spec down skill tree. Because, you know, Catharsis is a bad skill. You know, it does self damage, it kills you very easily. Its damage on enemies isn't good. Five points into Tempest for, bonus in for both elemental damage and for more shock damage. Illuminated Fist for, for bonus melee damage and. Melee damage element of our attuned action skill element. One point into wildfire to spray them with skill tree, and to have some dot spreading. It's red for bonus gun damage. Doesn't really matter, but you know, with tightened bind you can grasp an enemy. Shoot once, they'll die. You, you get bonus damage. The gun auto reloads. Pretty nice. Three points into indiscriminate for ricocheting blade fields everywhere with double dipping shite with Titan Bind. Deep Well with for bonus mag slice, even though the blade fears are non elemental then I've still decided to take it. One point to sustainment for lifesteal. Four points to conflux to get down to fourth flight pressure for bonus elemental damage. And our action skill is gonna be tested bind. For green tree the only points we're specking are wait Oh yeah, I've done this like that. Huh. <laughs> yeah, we're not speaking mindfulness like by speaking into green tree. Like, I've just gone plus three mindfulness on the driver because, you know, we have also speed demon. Like, it's gonna be overkill with the movement speed if I'd gone six out of three mi mindfulness. But you know, three points into personal space for, bon for bonus damage when the enemies are close to us. And, and it only works for uh, weapon damage. Two points to clarity to get down to corrosive element because that's going to be our main element. For purple tree, we're doing five points to just in yourself for bonus reload speed and charge speed and open swap speed because we're going to be swapping a lot. If you want to, you know, use the sellout for activating elemental protector and stacking mindfulness stacks without wasting ties. 
5 points into a gnome sticks in nature for bonus melee damage after dodging an enemy. 5 points into heavy rain for a bonus splash damage and projectile speed. 1 point into ebb and flow for getting health back on kills with melee. We're not doing go with the flow and unweave the rainbow because we're not facing enemies. So we have 5 points into joyful freedom for bonus melee damage. 5 points to burn both ends for the you know free 75% bonus damage. 3 points to body and mind for splash damage on our melees. We will pretty much take this. Clear the mind for ignoring elemental resistances and for our augment we're gonna be doing expedite. And for blue tree the only points we're doing our 5 minutes to do harm, 3 points into fast hand and 1 point into allegory. Also, as you can hear, I I have a runny nose, so and I also yesterday I felt a cold, but today I don't have it anymore. Like it's just gone away in like 12 hours, and I couldn't sleep at all because of the runny nose. Okay, you know, for this maybe I should have done the out for um, activating mindfulness stacks. You can one-shot enemies very easily, if you can aim. Yeah, this is way better than Blade with Amara. You can only use this Blade Fury Amara if you want to use a Blade Fury on Amara. And I'm planning to make even more melee Amara saves in the future, ah scheisse. Well, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but if you have kill stack on the gun and you get a few stacks, then if you swap away of the kill stack gun, then kill stack persists through swapping, so you can transfer it onto onto other weapons. Also, Kraken, by the way, you can transfer it onto other weapons even without kill stack. So we can, you know. Guardian Angel, and we have a pretty fast reload. And same works with consec hits, except consec hits only persists through swapping on other consec hits guns. Oh! I've done the double Valkyrie skip after a long time. I think this is my first time doing a double Valkyrie skip on this build. Which is surprising. I can't aim. Like, today I couldn't sleep. Like, I've gone to sleep at like... 11 p.m. And then I've woken up at 1.56 a.m. And I couldn't sleep for two hours. Like, I just couldn't. So I've watched some YouTube videos for two hours and then I've gone to sleep and I've... Uh, fallen asleep. And then I've woken up at like 8 a.m. No way, bro. Not a perfect slow hand, but... Because it doesn't have the crit damage body accessory. I'm gonna take it anyway. Yeah, see, this is why... I keep forgetting. I should do fell out. Instead of wasting my action skill. Even though fixed grasping doesn't consume our action skill, sometimes it does. So you want me? So you want to be careful? New. Maybe for this part, let's do the full auto blade fury. Just to show both versions of the gun. So we can keep kill. We can keep kill stack. We can freely swap weapons. We don't lose the kill stack. Oh sh bro. Seriously? Maybe let's check. Let's check. Let's check. 
Sunfish. There's too much shite happening, and I'm gonna die, I think, again. But you can see, once again, this is much better than Blade Witch. Because it's a build of mine, so it's obviously gonna be better. Because I'm the damage king. Eat your heart out, Moxie. And for Wotan, let's do Mash or Blade Fury. They were taking the Venom for that one Shadow Shield. I wanna find one that do it. Like, if they had one, I've had 8 times 25 stagecoaches, but zero one shadows. I mean, the stagecoach, the times 25 stagecoach is more common than the one Shadow Shield. Yeah, look at the meltage. And should I do should I do the funny kill? Oh, so basically, you know, chuck fish. Okay, that's not chuck fish. Maybe let's wait for the shield to come back. Have mindfulness. And let's see. Yep, that's that's the kill. Is that what then? You can speed run with, th with this build. I have explosion, insider, poggers, holy grail, moonfire, boomsicle, victory rush, tickets boom, kips worth, and that's it. Cool. See you tomorrow with a really cool video showing off one of my favorite shotguns in the game. And probably the strongest one-shot Jacob's shotgun in the game. So see you tomorrow. Bye.